Okay, let's go into, since we're talking about joy like a river, the kind of rivers we're seeing now are floods that are like a river. Mm. Um, the indices that caused 2012 floods have manifested, and this is one by the agency. A steady rise in water levels and weather forecasts for the upcoming weeks have put Nigeria at risk of witnessing a recurrence of catastrophic flooding, similar to what it witnessed in 2012, the Nigeria Hydrological Service Agency, NIHSA, I beg your pardon, that was a tongue twister, NIHSA has warned. In a statement by its Director of Engineering, Clement Nzi, on Thursday, he said that the signs observed before the massive 2012 flood in several states have manifested. There have been systematic daily rise in water levels on both rivers. Record, records from our measuring stations in Lokoja River, Ni River Niger and Makodi River Binwe clearly showed this. The agency said. Now, this is this is a very heartbreaking and alarming report, Chukudi. Now, the question is, what are we doing to ensure that we don't have a repeat of this in our hands? I remember the 2012 flood. It was terrible. People's cars were submerged. Over 300 people were displaced from their homes because of the flood. We don't want to have that on our hands again. Now, you know, a wise man and wise woman, because we were not there, so we don't say wise man, I say, what about the woman? A wise man and wise woman once said that those that fail to take you know, lessons from, you know, history or historical accounts are bound to make the same mistakes. Now, in 2012, you know, 300 people died as a result of flooding. Close to 2 million Nigerians were displaced as a result of flooding. And around 30 of the 36 states in Nigeria were affected. Now, if we look from 2012 till 2018, six years, and the agency that is responsible for, you know, following and trying to see that the information is put out there have come out to say that it has gotten to the stage that it was in 2012. But the question, a very important question that we need to ask is, what exactly are we doing? First, on the one hand, if 30 of 36 states were affected in 2012, as a result of, you know, climate change, the extreme weather, ozone layer depletion, greenhouse effect, it is most likely going to affect every state in Nigeria today. Mm. Now, what do we do? This is not the time for hashtags or the time for trading blips. You know, our, poli our political parties and politicians, it's easy for them to say it's APC that is making rain fall. Under PDP, we do not have this kind of rain. Or it's PDP that is making the rain to fall. They stole it somewhere. Because of 2019 election, they have released the rain. But as Nigerians, what we must do is play our part. And let me identify the stakeholders. The government, federal and state, must do all that they can to pool resources and galvanize the relevant agencies to begin to act. Media organizations and influencers, whether social media, whether on TV, whether on radio, must begin to play their part to put the information out there. Break this information in its most basic form so that people would understand. Now, growing up as a child in Lagos, Nigeria, in solar area, to be precise, there was this standard practice. Whenever it rained, people would bring out their garbage and, you know, um, dispose the content into drainage and we'll be happy as children who we'll chase the content and be shouting, hey! But as you grow older, you begin to learn. But it would seem that we have not evolved as a result of all these happenings in our society. What we must do now is begin to be proactive. Now, we are happy that the agency has come out to give this information. What is the government doing? What are we anticipating? How are we preparing to ensure that Two million Nigerians, just like in 2012, will not be displaced okay. again. Okay, Chukudi, what advice does the citizen need to know in terms of keeping oneself safe and protected during the floodings? Importantly, you are a part of your environment. If you contribute to environmental degradation, you are going to suffer for it. Now, in 36 of, in, in 30 of 36 states in 2012, you, you know that there are certain states in Nigeria where you expect that are. Ah, if they see rain, they will thank God because of the nature. But now, climate change has altered all of this. Now, what the citizens must do is first, all this government, 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 we know government has a responsibility. But we must first start with ourselves and begin to protect our environment. I know that we need to plant trees, but it is not a tree you plant today that will grow today, even though it's important to plant that tree today so that we'll protect the future. But what we must do is begin to tell each other that you have a role to play in ensuring that you keep your environment safe. When we look at construction, you know, governments must take the lead. Where people, growing up in, in, in the solar area where I grew up, there were places that were designated canal channels. But when I visited recently, people had built houses on them. The government owned the lands. Who gives out the, the planning and the order for people to construct? 
You know, people construct fancy uh, property without drainage. It's all good in the dry season, but when the rains come, we begin to complain. So this is the time for government to play its part, media organizations to play its part, influential people like you and Leila to play your part, and also every Nigerian to know that the environment belongs to all of us, and we must play our part to ensure that we protect and safeguard our environment. And I also think we need to ask questions as well, because we find a lot of people are looking for houses. I think this will be the best time to actually look for a house in wherever part of the of Nigeria you are, because this is the time you know the places that are flooded and the places that have, you know, because you can't go, when you go during the dry season, it's not really flooded as much, and they can lie to you and tell you, oh, the roads are good, now, we don't have flooding problems. See, interestingly, everybody has the same problem. You would be surprised that you would go to a particular um, place now, they'll tell you, no, 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 we don't have these problems. True, because they don't have the problems. But in two months, in six months, in one year, it would change. I just gave the example of certain states in Nigeria where if it rained, people would be very excited. Now you'd hear of flooding in Jigawa, you'd hear of flooding in Sokoto, you'd hear of flooding in Niger. Our dams are busting at their seams. What we must do is anticipate. And how do we anticipate? We anticipate by first understanding that we have a role to play in our environment. So in the little that we can, we must try to see how we can preserve and conserve the environment, number one. Then number two, the information must be put out there. You don't have to bag a professor, uh, you don't have to be a professor or bag a doctorate degree to know that there are certain things that you must do to preserve your environment and also ensure that you keep yourself safe. And people have also spoken about low land areas. You cannot help it. People want to live in, you know, people, people need shelter, which is the basic necessity of life. And that is where the government needs to take the lead. Put the information out there and tell the people that as it's our responsibility to protect the interests of the citizenry, we are going to play our part. Now, so speaking about putting information out there, let's just quickly mention the fact that according to the 2018 prediction of NIMET, the rainfall predictions, now, usually when we're taught in schools, we're taught that the rainy season is from March up until October, but it's changing. We're talking about global warming and climate change and everything's changing. So according to NIMET, the earliest cessation of rainfall in Sokoto and Katina State is 28th of September. Wow. So in the southern coastal cities, we're expecting it up until December. So people need to pre prepare themselves. What this means is that in the north, we're going to see a high level of rainfalls in the next three weeks. So people need to be prepared. You know, at some point, if there are places that need evacuation, I think now would be the time that the government starts putting into progress, uh, putting into plans how we can evacuate people that need to be evacuated from certain places. True. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.